morning, my beloved students. I am Mrs. Ogwebu O.M., your English teacher. And the topic we have today is transitive and intransitive verbs. Before we go into the main lesson, let us think or look into what we're supposed to achieve by the end of this lesson. One, students should be able to say what the transitive and intransitive verbs are. They should also be able to identify them in sentences. Make correct sentences with them. Then, let's go to what is transitive verb. Transitive verbs are verbs that take a direct object. That is, the transitive verbs transfer the actions of the subject to the object. Transitive verbs, therefore, cannot do without the object. What do we mean by that? A transitive verb is the verb that is that takes the action of the, the where the subject of the verb transfers his action to the object. And in the transitive verb, there must be an object. If there is no object in the, in the sentence, the subject will not be able to transfer its action to the, uh, 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 to the object. Remember, the subject is the doer of the action, while the object is the receiver of the action. So, a transitive verb is the verb that takes the subject and objects. For example, a maker kills a snake. A maker is the subject which is the doer. Then we have killed and we have a snake. The a maker is the subject while the snake is the object. Uche slaps him. Uche is the subject. We have slapped as the verb that is the action, and he as the object, which is the receiver of the action of the subject. She won the prize. She is the one that won the prize. So the prize is the object, while she is the subject. My father bought a car. My father bought a car. She climbed the tree. She climbed the tree. The teacher gave me three naira. The teacher gave me three naira, and so on. So once the action of the subject is received by the object, you say that the sentence is in the transitive form. Note that without the object in the sentence, sentence above, there will, not make a, there will not make a complete sentence, as I said before. Then we go to transitive verb, intransitive verb. What is intransitive verb? Intransitive verbs are verbs which do not take a direct object opposite of the transitive. It does not take a direct object. What do I mean by that? The transitive verbs do not require an object to make the sentence complete. The sentence stops at the action and there should be no receiver. There should be performer but there should be no receiver. For example, Jesus wept. B, she sings beautifully. We have subject, verb, and adjunct. 
adjunct is and uh, other things that are in the predicate aspect of the sentence. The girl is sleeping. We have subject, the girl is sleeping. The verb. She collapsed. We have subject and verb. The class is large. We have subject, verb, and adjunct. As I told you, adjunct are other things that followed. Then let us look at the following exercises and assignments. Identify the transitive and intransitive verbs in the following sentences. One, the food is ready. Two, she went to the market. Three, the dog barked at him. Four, yam grows in the soil. Five, Mr. John is a teacher. Six, she is beautiful. Seven, he became a president. Eight, these are my friends. So look, let us look. Uh, just do some of them together as an ex class exercise. Then you will finish off on the remaining ones as an assignment. One, the food is ready. What type of a, a, a verb is this? You will find out that we have the subject, but we do not have the object. So the sentence is in the intransitive form. We just have the subject, the verb, and the adjunct. Two, she went to the market. She went to the market. We have the verb. We have the subject, we have the verb, and we have the object. She went to the market. Subject, verb, and, and uh, uh, object. So this number two sentence automatically is, the, is in the transitive form. Three, the dog barked at him. We have the dog as the subject. The doer, we have that as the verb and a team as the object. So we have the number three as the verb, the sentence in the transitive form. Then you are going to do number four, number five to number eight as an assignment and submit to your email address for us to do the correction and post back to you.